today we are talking about foundation from the drugstore, well specifically Target really, and it's a foundation that I've had for a little while and I really wanted to demo it for you and kind of give you my thoughts and I'm referring to Boots Number no. 7 Airbrush Away Foundation. So this is one of their newest foundations and it does come in that classic dropper style. It is a very lightweight foundation, but along with the foundation, I, al I also picked up their new Boots Number no. 7 Radiant Glow Concealer in number no. 10. I wanna say that it's number no. 10 light. I'm not 100% sure. Um, as far as the shade range goes, I know in the concealer they only had like three shades, so it was very, very limited. The foundation maybe had six or seven. Um, I did pick it up at my local um, Target and it was around $18. So it is affordable, um, you know, considering you can pay up to $60 for a foundation and it is the one fluid ounce, so you do get a solid fluid, out, fluid ounce. And I'm wearing the shade Warm Beige. Now, when I, as you see me apply this foundation, you will see that it is slightly lighter than my skin. Um, I picked up two, one was way too dark and one was way too, I mean, not too light. It was one that I could work with. A little bit of bronzer, I don't mind um, putting a little bronzer on to make it work with my face as opposed to having, I don't even know what you do to lighten really. So, um, if you are interested in the demo of this foundation, just keep watching. Okay, so I do have a little eye makeup done, but I have not started my foundation because we are reviewing foundation today. So I've had this for several weeks and I really have been trying it out and just putting it to the test and seeing is it really worth the $18. So I'm referring to the Boots Number no. 7 Airbrush Away Foundation and this is in the shade Warm Beige. Now I picked this up at my local Target and for the most part I would say that the color range is on the limited side, but this is a dropper style foundation, so I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand and we are going to go to town. So I'm going to be using my Image Flawless Foundation Brush. You guys know that I love Image. It's one of those skincare companies that I really have been enjoying, and so I'm going to take just a little bit of Max Fix Plus on the brush, and then we are going to go into this foundation. Now it is a bit of a runny foundation, so just so you guys know, but it's supposed to give you that flawless airbrush look. So this is a thin synthetic brush, so it is going to shear this out just a little bit. If I have to, I will go back in with a beauty blender to give me just a little bit more coverage, but for the most part, this is going to be a medium, um, to sh light to medium foundation for sure. So this is a very light um, to medium coverage foundation. <clears throat> I am gonna switch it up and go in with the Beauty Blender just to give um, just a little bit more coverage to a couple of areas. Luckily, this foundation blends out so beautifully, it doesn't take a lot of work or a lot of effort to get the look that you are going for. You guys know I have some hyperpigmentation right around my eyes that I do try to add a little more coverage to. So, and then of course I have like that spot in the middle of my head. Now, light to medium definitely means that you are not going to be covering up every imperfection on your face. And I don't want to, you know, I, my skin is my skin and yes, I'm working on it, but what you see is what you get. Okay. So that is one cut, co one coat of the foundation with just a little bit more, just a, I like one drop if that, um, to cover up some of the other issue, the other issues that I have. So now I'm going to go in with the new Boots Number no. 7 Radiant Glow Concealer. This was, um, these two were like alongside each other as new products, so I was like, why not pick them both up? So it's very much reminiscent of the YSL um, concealer. This, however, is a very sheer concealer. If you are looking to cover anything major, this is not for you, I'll tell you that right now. And I'll show you, I'll show you with my hyperpigmentation. It is, you are still gonna see my dark circles, you're still gonna see um, my hyperpigmentation. I'll even put it right there on, on that blemish and you guys will be able to see if it actually covers it at all. 
Now you have to work with it because it does dry down pretty quick. So I would say work in small sections and blend it out as you go. And this is also another one of those concealers you are going to have to set. It will crease on you. Expect it. If you do not set it, it will crease. Now, it is a very light um, formula, and that is one thing that I do like about it. It just sinks into the skin so beautifully, and it does give you a little bit of light to the center of the face. It just doesn't, unfortunately, give you a lot of coverage, like sustainable coverage. I mean, I'm pretty sure you could probably build it up, but the under eye is one of those areas that you don't want to have to put a lot of product under there because, you know, you have fine lines. I actually have a little milia, you know, so I have things under my eyes that I don't want to have to put a lot of coverage, to, you know, and accentuate some of those issues, which unfortunately <clears throat> tends to happen. So, but this does do a nice job of giving like it says, radiance to the skin. I think it gives a nice, like, lightening to the center of my face. I think it did a, a nice job, but it's not gonna win any awards for best coverage because it's a very light coverage. All right, so I'm going to finish putting on my makeup and we'll talk about how this foundation layers and we'll get down to the nitty gritty. Okay, so that was the demo. You guys saw how easily it went on. It really did blend out very quickly. It's one of those foundations that really, because it is, I want to say that one of the main ingredients, it, maybe I'll look that up real quick. Um, I want to say that it has like a, a silicone-y feel to it. It has that slip. Um, it's not glycerin that is one of the main ingredients, um, but let me see if I can find what it is because um, it does give it that really easy glide on the skin, which makes applying foundation cake. All right, so let's see what they say the main um, ingredient is. So I'm on the Target website, and it looks like there are 12 colors. My local um, Target did not have 12 colors, but it does say that it comes in 12 colors, the lightest being wheat, or wheat, and then the darkest looks like it is chestnut. So it does have a, um, quite a bit of... Um, a range. It says that this foundation is meant for concealing and improving skin tone over time. So, okay, and it's it's saying that it's a full coverage foundation. I completely disagree with that. I, w I would say that it is light to medium at best. You do get the one full ounce. It doesn't break down... I'm on Target's website, which is probably part of the problem. It doesn't break down like the ingredients. So let me see if I can go to the boots number seven and see if I can get a breakdown. Now on the website it is a $17.99. Um, it is $17.99, so it's right at the $18 mark, which is pretty affordable. The concealer is $11.99, so you're looking at about $12. So it's not like super expensive, but it's not you know super cheap either. Dimethicone. Dimethicone is what gives it the slip, so I knew that there was something in there. Um, so that is what gives it its emolliency that makes it so easy just to glide over the skin. Now I do, I do have to say that it layered product really nicely. I don't feel like my face is heavy or cakey and I have quite a bit of makeup on. So I do give it a two thumbs up. Um, I don't really think that it's the best, like it, cause it calls itself a full coverage co foundation and I disagree with that 110%. But if you're looking for a light to medium coverage foundation, I actually wear this with the, like, the no makeup makeup days. This is what I reach for because it does look very natural. It does go on the skin really nicely. It does have some skincare benefits to it over time. It will help even out some of your, your um, skin tone. So it does have some benefits. It's very lightweight. If you are one of those people that hate the cakey foundation, this is for you. This foundation is light and airy on the skin. It lets your skin breathe. It is a beautiful consistency. I will give it that. But if you are someone who is looking for coverage, this is not for you. If you are someone who is super oily, this is also not for you. I would say this is probably meant for combination, normal, or dry skin because it does have dimethicone as its number one or number 
two or three ingredient, you know, it's it's not going to help people who are already um, who already produce way too much oil. Um, I think it it layers beautifully. I think it sits on the skin really nicely, and it's easy to blend. So if you are interested in this foundation, head over to your local Target. I want to say that Walgreens is now starting to um, carry Boots number seven, which is also really awesome. Um, as far as the concealer goes, I know I haven't really talked about this a whole lot. I would pass on this. You guys saw it, I mean, it, it did lighten my under eye a little bit, but as far as concealing, which is, no. You get more concealer, more coverage out of, you know, oop, any of these concealers than what you have, what I just picked up. So I would say if you're looking for something from the drugstore, go with the Maybelline um, Dark Circle Eraser. Love it. For me, this is very similar to the better skin, the better, yeah, the Super Say Better Skin. I, I don't feel like this is this gives me a lot of coverage either. It just I use it for brightening my under eye, and that really is all that radiant concealer is good for, in my opinion. It doesn't conceal my dark circles or my hyperpigmentation or anything like that, but it does help bring radiance to the under eye. So I would say pass on that, especially for twelve dollars. You can go and get a couple of really nice drugstore. Uh, you know, the Fit Me is a really great one. And you can get probably two of them for the 12 bucks. So I like this. I can, I use it quite often because it's so lightweight. Um, but it's not meant for everyone. It's not going to fulfill everyone's coverage requirements. But it's a nice foundation. And for $18, I find that that's a pretty fair price. So, I mean, let me give you a little bit of a comparison. I love my Almay Smart Shade. And this is 12 This is 18 So really, that'll if that helps you at all... In the price department um, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the demo and review if you did please give me a thumbs up and if you have not done so already I would love it if you would click on that subscribe button I would love to have you as a subscriber I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you next time